SSC released a new normalization formula and this formula is much better than the earlier one. Based on the earlier formula, there were aspirants who used to score 210 to 20 out of 200 but based on the new formula that will not happen anymore. Hello and welcome to Siddhi. Let's have a look at the new normalization formula and understand what it means to us. This is the new normalization formula related notice and they are calling this formula as equipercentile system. In this entire notice, these two lines and these three lines are very very important to us and let us understand what this is. These lines say, as per this system, the most important determinant of a candidate's performance is his or her rank within his or her own shift. The meaning is, now onwards, it is only your performance in your shift that will matter and the other shift's easiness or difficulty will not matter anymore. The new method ensures that candidates who face certain problems relating to the content in one shift will not be unfairly ranked compared to the candidates in the other shifts who did not face similar problems. The meaning is, in the earlier formula, if your shift is very easy, you are at an advantage, your shift is very difficult, you are at a loss. But based on the new formula, that will not happen anymore and this new formula related notice is published in the month of June. This is the entire formula and this involves a lot of complicated statistics. But let us not worry about all these things and let us simply understand. In the step number one, percentile is calculated. That is, in crux, all the candidates who wrote exam in a particular shift will be arranged in a descending order. The topper will have 100 percentile. That is the first step. In the second step, all these percentiles will be calculated for the all for all the shifts. Now, let us say you are the topper of your shift. That is, you scored 100 percentile in your shift and there is other candidate who scored 100 percentile in other shift. In your shift, as a topper, you scored 160 and in the other shift, that topper scored 120. Now, you will be assigned 120 marks in the second shift. In this manner, in all the shifts, you will be given marks. So, for example, you are a topper in your own shift, you scored 120 and in shift number 2, topper that is 100 percent percentile score is 100. In the third shift, the 100 percentile score is 80. You will be given the same marks in all the shifts. In that way, a table is prepared and finally, an average is calculated for everything. So, the meaning is, if you are a topper in your shift, you will be given highest marks in all the other shifts. If you lose in marks in your shift, you will lose marks in all the other shifts. So the meaning is very very simple. Don't worry much whether your shift is easy or difficult. Your goal is very very simple, crystal clear. Be a topper of your shift. You will be given highest marks in all the shifts and you will not be at any disadvantage. All the best. <laughs>